students welcome to all who are watching these videos in this video i am explaining the coordinate geometry mz problems and this is the video number 2 and the students who will follow these videos will definitely get very good marks in the coming mz examination so all of you watch the videos practice the sums make the notes okay and in the description i am giving the three dimensional coordinates practice problems pdf so all of you after watching the video once open the description and see the pdf and solve those questions also okay let us start the class this is sum number 30 in the yesterday video i completed up to 29 problems now it starts the 30th sum this sum number 30 okay listen given that g is equal to 1 1 minus 2 is the center of the triangle abc and d is the midpoint of bc and a is equal to minus 1 1 minus 4 then what are coordinates of d then what is d point that is a given question so given that g1 minus 2 is the centroid of the triangle abc this is the triangle abc and given that g is equals to the point g coordinates is equal to 1 1 minus 2 and also given that a is equal to minus 1 1 minus 4 and also given that d is the midpoint of bc now what are the coordinates of the point d that is a given question okay so further here already we know that this is nothing but the median since this is the midpoint of the bc ad is the median and the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 that is g is equals to what is the formula here mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n my2 plus ny1 by m plus n mz2 plus nz1 by m plus n okay this is the formula what is g here 1 1 minus 2 is equals to now replacing the values first i take that here d is equal to x y z okay so mx2 2 into x 2x plus nx1 1 into minus 1 minus 1 by m plus n that is 3 now taking the cross product here we get that 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 that is 2x is equal to 4 then x is equal to 2 okay the coordinates of x is equal to 2 that is so in the fourth option only we have that x is equal to 2 so directly we can tell that the answer is equal to fourth option so that is the fourth option that's all without doing the remaining two directly we can tell the answer therefore answer is equal to fourth option that's all Next question sum number 31. If the internal bisector of the angle AOB where O is equal to 0, 0, 0, A is equal to 3, 4, 12, B is equal to 1, 2, 2, intersect AB at the point C, then what is CY? Okay, listen. So, here given that the internal bisector of AOB. So, this is the internal bisector of the AOB. Okay. The internal bisector of the AOB intersects the a b line at the point c then what is c y we want the y coordinate of the c point intersect the a b line at the point c then what is c y we want the y coordinate y coordinate of this point okay very easy here what is the formula to find the c coordinates so here c is nothing but the this is the point that divides the line segment in the ratio a o is to o b so c is the point that divides the line segment a b in the ratio a o is to o b what is a o distance value square root of 9 plus 16 plus 144 that is root 169 is equal to 30 and what is b o value b o is equals to 1 plus 4 plus 4 that is equal to 3 so here the distance is equal to 13 is to 3 okay we take the distance is equal to 13 is to 3 now what is c y c y is equal to formula m y 2 plus n y 1 by m plus n we want the only y coordinate it is enough to find the answer the, here the question is only y coordinate it is enough to find this part only okay now replacing the values m y 2 13 into 2 26 plus n y 1 3 into 4 12 by 13 plus 3 16 n plus 7 13 plus 6 okay this is equals to 38 by 16 is equals to 19 by 8 therefore the value of the cy is equal to 19 by 8 and that is the third option that's all okay listen the next question sum number 34 the harmonic conjugate of 2 3 4 with respect to the points 3 minus 2 2 and 6 minus 7 minus 4 is equals to so here we want the harmonic conjugate so two points are given here 3 minus 2 2 and the second point is 6 minus 17 minus 4 
and the harmonic conjugate of 2 3 4 we want the harmonic conjugate of we want the harmonic conjugate of the point p 2 3 4 with respect to this line okay what is the harmonic conjugate definition first of all we have to take the ratio at which this point divides the line segment first of all we have to find the ratio okay what is the ratio formula x minus x1 is to x2 minus x Ratio formula is equals to x minus x1 is to x2 minus x. What is x1, y1, z1? This is x1, y1, z1. This is x2, y2, z2. This is x, y, z. So, x minus x1, 2 minus 3. That is minus 1 is to x2 minus 6. 6 minus 2. That is equals to 4. So, ratio is equals to minus 1 is to 4 here. So, to find the harmonic conjugate, we take the ratio is equals to 1 is to 4. Okay. To get the harmonic conjugate of this point, we have to take the ratio as equals to 1 is to 4 and finding the harmonic conjugate. So, harmonic conjugate Q is equals to, now to find the harmonic conjugate, here we use this ratio. That is, mx2 plus nx1, 1 into 6 plus 4 into 3, 6 plus 12 by 5 and my2 plus my1, that is, 6 plus 12 by 5. Now, what is this value? This is equals to 18 by 5. We have this value in the first option only. That is the first option is the correct answer. Without finding these two values directly, we can tell the answer. Very, very easy question. Harmonic conjugate means first we have to take this ratio. x minus x1 is to x2 minus 6. x2 minus 6. x minus x1 is to x2 minus 6. Okay. So, this is the ratio. So, replacing the values, this x y z, this x1 y1 z1, this x2 y2 z2. What is the ratio? Minus 1 is to 4. Now, to get the harmonic conjugate, simply change the ratio. That is just to change the sign of the ratio. Now, the minus 1 is to 4 becomes 1 is to 4. That is, now we have to find the coordinates of the point with respect to this ratio. Simply, that is the answer. That is q is equals to just to finding the x coordinate here, it is enough to take the first coordinate since from the first coordinate directly we can tell the answer here. 18 by 5. This is existed only in the first option. Therefore, first option is the correct answer. That's all. Next question sum number 33. In the triangle ABC, if A is equal to 0, 0, 4, AB is equal to 4, BC is equal to 3, CA is equal to 5 and I is equal to 1, 0, 1 is the in center of the triangle. Then the internal bisector of the A intersects the BC at the point D. Then what are the coordinates of D? Okay. The internal bisector of the angle A intersects BC at the point D. Then what are the coordinates of the DX? Now this is the given question. So see here very easy question. So first already here given that I is equal to 1, 0, 1. We want the DX value. So first we take that this is X, Y, Z. Now here the formula is the in center divides the internal bisector in the ratio. Here the ratio is equals to B plus C is to A. Here the ratio is equals to B plus C is to A. So here I divides the internal bisector of A in the ratio B plus C is to A. Okay. I divide the internal bisector of A in the ratio B plus C is to A. That is B plus C. 4 plus 5 is to A is equal to 3. 9 is to 3 is equal to 3 is to 1. Okay. That is I is equals to what is the formula here? Mx2 plus Nx1 by M plus N. My2 plus Ny1 by M plus N. Mz2 plus Nz1 by M plus N. That is I is equal to 1, 0, 1 is equal to, now replacing the values, m x2, 3 into x2 is equal to x plus n x1, 1 into x1 is equal to 0 by m plus n, that is 3 plus 1, 4. We want the only x step, now taking the cross product here to these two, 4 is equal to 3x, therefore the value of x is equal to 4 by 3, that's all, this is the answer and which is the first option. Question sum number 34. In the tetrahedron ABCD, A is equal to 1, 2, minus 3. G is equal to minus 3, 4, 5. Is the centroid of the tetrahedron ABCD. And P is the centroid of the triangle BCD. Then what is AP value? So here clearly given that G is the centroid of the tetrahedron ABCD. And P is the centroid of the BCD. Okay. Now what is the given question? What is AP distance? So here we have one simple formula to find this value. The formula is AG plus AG by 3. Okay. The formula is AG plus AG by 3. That is equals to 4 into AG by 3 after doing the LCM. So what is AP value? 4 by 3 into AG. 
so clearly given that a is equal to 1 to minus 3 and g is equal to minus 3 4 5 now what is a g value finding the distance here square root of 1 minus 1 plus 3 whole square 16 plus 2 minus 4 whole square 4 plus 5 plus 3 whole square 64 that is equals to square root of 84 therefore the ap value is equals to 4 by 3 into square root of 84 that is 4 by 3 into this is 2 root 21 4 into 21 therefore the value of ap is equal to 8 by 3 into root 21 and that is the first option okay that's all Next question sum number 35. If the centroid of the tetrahedron OABC where ABC are given by A2, 3, 1, B2, 2, 1C respectively is 1, 2, minus 1 then the distance of PABC from the origin. Okay, understand? Given that G is the centroid of the tetrahedron ABC given that that point is equal to 1, 2, minus 1 where what are the points O is equal to 0, 0, A is equal to A2, 3, B is equal to 1, B2, C is equal to 2, 1, C. So these four points are given, centroid is given. Now we want the P distance from the origin where P is equal to A, B, C. So first we want the values of A, B, C here. Okay. Now what is G formula of G is equals to? Since it is the tetrahedron, the formula is X1 plus X2 plus X3 plus X4 by 4. That is 0 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2. That is A plus 3 by 4. And 51 plus 52 plus 53 plus 54 by 4. 0 plus 2 plus B plus 1. That is 0 plus 2. B plus 3. B plus 3 by 4. And Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 plus Z4. That is 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus C. That is, that is C plus 5 by 4. Okay. This is the centroid of the tetrahedron. But given that this value is equal to 1 to minus 1. That is A plus 3 is equal to 4. B plus 3 is equal to 8. And C plus 5 is equal to minus 4. Okay. Therefore, therefore A is equal to minus 1. A is equal to plus 1. B is equal to plus 5. C is equal to minus 9. Now this is the point P A B C. P A B C is equals to here 1 comma 5 comma minus 10. What is the given question? O B distance that is equal to square root of A square plus B square plus C square. 1 plus 25 plus 81 that is equals to 107. Okay that's all and that is the first option.